Hi everybody, it's Miss Paladay. I just wanted to send you another video. I'm sitting here inside Baby Grayson's um, room. It's his stroller and books and all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, but the reason I wanted to send you this video is because tomorrow is the 100th day of school. Um, and I wanted to read another book for you called The Night Before the 100th Day of School. So maybe you guys can hear this book and get excited for your 100th day of school tomorrow. I don't know if you're going to be bringing in any 100 collections, but I did hear that you're going to dress up like you're 100 years old or wear a 100th day shirt. Um, so that sounds like it's going to be so exciting. Um, I would love to see any pictures of how your old costumes are going to look. So if you want to send me any pictures while I'm here taking care of baby Grayson, um, please feel free. Uh, but this book, The Night Before the 100th Day of School, is like tonight. So today you had the 99th day of school, right? So tomorrow, 99 plus one more is 100. So let's get started. The Night Before the 100th Day of School by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Mindy Pierce. The 100th Day of School is one of my favorite days of school. So I'm so jealous that you guys get to have so much fun. "'Twas the night before the 100th day when I started to worry. "'What'll I bring to school? I need something in a hurry. "'Maybe 100 socks? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of socks. "'I don't know if I have that many socks. <laughs> "'Already most kids have thought of their stuff. "'What are you bringing?' Flip has 100 photos of his new puppy, Fluff. Paul says he's bringing 100 pencils. Carter's got his cars. Jane has 100 jelly beans. Samantha, 100 gold stars. If you haven't decided if you're bringing a hundred things yet, these could be some ideas. I don't know if you guys are doing that. But. So I got out my dinosaurs and put them all in a line. When I counted them up, there were only 49. I dumped out my piggy bank, pennies, nickels, and dimes. I counted, the tw I counted them twice, came up short both times. Does he have enough dinosaurs to bring for the 100th day? If he only has 49, not quite, huh? And it says that he came up short, which means does he have enough coins if he came up short? No, that means he doesn't have enough. When what with my wandering eyes should I see? No one else could bring ants. No one but me. Oh my goodness. He has a box that says 100 ants in your herd. Oh my goodness. I would freak out if any of you brought 100 ants to school. Yikes. That night while I nestled all snug in my bed, visions of ants, ants, and more ants danced in my head. The very next morning, the big day was here. Hooray for the 100th day of school this year. So away to the school bus, I flew in a flash, then hopped off on the sidewalk and made a mad dash. Our class was eyeing a huge cake. It smelled oh so sweet. Sharing time first, said Mr. Stein, then after we'll eat. Maybelle went first with a hundred marbles in a can. Shana showed her sugar cubes. 
Then came the twins, Stan and Dan. Looks like they have some pennies, sugar cubes and marbles. Yocasta had a hundred names written on her cast. And all of a sudden it was my turn at last. I walked to the table and in front of the class, but I tripped on a marble and landed. Kaboom! Oh no. All the ants went everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at his face. I would freak out just like Mr. Stein there. <gasps> this kid's excited about the ants. <laughs> the lid, it popped open. Ants came running out. Here's one, there's one, the kids started to shout. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? One by one, my ants marched straight toward the snack table. <laughs> Don't step on them! They're going for the cake, shouted Michael and Maybell. Oh no. A hundred ants racing toward the cake. I headed them off with crumbs from my lunch. Go back to the farm, I told the bunch. Good idea, says Mr. Stein. So he's luring them with crumbs back to their home. 60, 70, 80, I counted through 99. Where was the last one? said Mr. Stein. Oh no. Now that sharing time is over and the last ant is in. It's time for our party. Let the celebration begin. Are you ready for cake? We all shouted yes. Then we blew out the candles. How many? Just guess. How many candles do you think are on the 100th day of school cake? Probably 100, huh? The end. Okay, that was the night before the 100th day of school. Oh my goodness. Have a wonderful 100th day of school tomorrow. Be so excited that you made it 100 days in kindergarten. Ah. Uh, it's going to be such a great day. I cannot wait to hear all about it. All right. Bye, everybody.